finally some good coffee. I've been drinking those three in one bags for the last two days. And there's an insane amount of <laughs> sugar in them. And the trip continues. But today we're gonna go to Croatia. <laughs> and probably somewhere near Zagreb. That remains to be seen. I haven't booked anything. If I can find something really cheap, then okay, I will take it. But if I can't, I will take the tent out and the tent the next night. Nights are getting decently warm, so it's a pleasant option. There's, nobody has been asking any papers here for years. Yes, this river is the crossing to Croatia. So, finally, we are in Croatia. Hello. The tank bag is really useful for those things. You can get your passport out and ready really fast. <laughs> I had no idea what the guy was saying. I guess he wasn't even trying to speak English. It's been a long time since I was in Croatia last. I don't know, maybe five years. I love the Tenere, big, just amazing bike on-road and off-road. It is heavy off-road, of course, but uh, it's a pretty comfortable cruiser as well. So you can just drive tarmac roads and twisty roads. It has plenty of power to pull you through any situation and have fun at the same time. And it's such a stable bike, as you can see. On speed, you can ride 150 and it's very stable. Grocery store. Skola. Sounds like Swedish. I did find a tent spot and I'm tenting this night. I have my new, <laughs> not these, I have my new Nemo sleeping mattress, which you can't really see because of my poor camera work. I have my old trusty Nemo inflatable pillow. And I have my sleeping bag that should be good for plus five comfortable and it's gonna be plus nine this night so not too bad I'm not gonna sleep yet I'm gonna watch a couple of YouTube videos and uh, try to stay awake until like 12 o'clock at least there is this annoying cat I made friends with the cat that is just hanging around here I guess and uh, now he's trying to get in my tent so <laughs> it's been pretty annoying and the cat was climbing against the lining here between the outer shell and the inner shell 
I'm trying to get in and I try to say a few words to the cat so he would leave and he did leave but then again 10 minutes later he was on my lap jumping on my lap when I was eating outside so let's see <laughs> tomorrow I'm gonna see the ocean Mediterranean Sea uh, so I guess that's one one thing accomplished when I see that and the views should be amazing one thing in common with Croatia and Norway is that both have incredible views but Croatia has also the climate <laughs> so there you go Norway you don't have everything <laughs> okay see you tomorrow bye morning the sleeping bag is barely doing it for me I am clothed underneath and still a little cold especially now in the morning oh, I have a little friend here yeah Ooh. There's a road close here so you can hear the cars and a rooster. Luckily this, the barking stopped in the night. I showed those stray dogs who's boss. <laughs> so they went away and it was much quieter after that. Yeah. Ooh. I never sleep as well as I shoot in the tent but I slept okay maybe like six hours so it should be okay to continue we just came to Krakak I have no idea again how to pronounce it, but Krakak. <clears throat> I'll put the names of the places <laughs> as a text to these videos anyway, so... I still need to find today's photograph on Instagram. I have this uh, mindset that I have to post one photo each day of my trip. But it shouldn't be too, too difficult in Croatia. Especially in these neighborhoods, there are some beautiful views, whichever direction you look at. We are not exactly yet at the ocean or near the ocean. There's some, still some ways to go. I like that the iPhone has the three times zoom, so you can zoom in and include some of the horizon in the photo. I think the Tet is pretty close to here. I'm not sure which way I want to go. Straight or down there. Maybe I'll go down there as I planned already. If nothing else, this is a nice place to shoot a video like this. Talk some shit about the trip so far. I had a surprisingly good sleep last night on the tent in the morning I woke up pretty early because I was so cold like six o'clock in the morning I woke up but otherwise I got a very good sleep wow this vista is really opening here this is already worth it look there's a small village 
look at this view. There's no water, but still beautiful. The red and uh, brown and green all mixed up. Beautiful. This is a nice spot as well. Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. Only thing is there's a power power line pole that right there. But I don't care. I've always been more of a, more of a photographer than a videographer. I like to take photos. Oh. <coughs> Let's continue. Think about living there, waking up to this every morning. That's a peaceful place. Yes. Off-road, let's try again. Yes. <laughs> Unstuck. Oh, now I have leaves on my mouth. I don't think I'm gonna find anything to photograph here because I can't see anything in any direction. That's probably the Airbnb. Yes, okay. So only five, ah oh, no, 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 22 kilometers to the Airbnb. Okay, let's try to get this down gracefully. Yeah, my back brake is gonna smoke <laughs> when, when we get down. Getting down is a way, way more difficult. Almost dropped it there. I know you. when I watch it on the video later, it looks like I'm on flat ground, but <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm constantly braking. This was a bit of a mo big rocks here. Ah, yes, nice. It was fun though. <laughs> you have to enjoy the tricky bits. So much fun. I'm pretty sure if I <laughs> someday get back to Finland, I'm gonna buy a dual sport. Just to, as a friend for this Tenere, because I really do think that I would enjoy practicing with a lighter bike.
should have taken a bike. <laughs> Croatia, don't give a shit about your sidewalks. You can just walk on the dog shit. <laughs> Thought that I would take an evening walk three kilometers to the restaurant. But it's dangerous. <laughs> There's some sidewalk there on the crossing, but before that, nothing. I've been extremely tired today, even though I had that rest today. <laughs> uh, so, right now I'm gonna be staying here in this Airbnb for three nights and trying to really take a rest. Even though Tet is pretty close, <laughs> I'm gonna try to resist on going there and just relax and uh, just gather my energy. I've been on this trip almost two weeks, so it's about time I take a little bit more, more of a rest. So I'm gonna be spending the weekend here. I'm gonna go to Split Croatia, maybe Monday. And I've been planning about staying there for a week because I like the place. I've been there before, so maybe Maybe I could do that. It depends on how I feel Monday. I don't feel the need to hurry anymore because uh, it's pretty warm. Not at night, but uh, still at the daytime it's 20, 20 plus. And that's for as a, for a Finn, <laughs> that's plenty. But look, look at this view. I'm just constantly in awe of these hilltops on the horizon. I know this here is ugly, but when you walk here at night and you see that blue sky against those hilltops, it is something to behold. And this is nothing compared to what Croatia has to offer. This is just a little taste of what's to come, but you will see that on the future videos. I will try to I, I will give it my best to get it on video. So, see you tomorrow probably, if I don't get killed with, by that car. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh damn, those high beams! Ah, my eyes got killed. Okay, to, until tomorrow.